Hey, what's going on, guys? Today I'll show you a horror film named Unwelcome. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a vertical shot of the busy city, and then it moves towards a girl named Babe, who is checking if she's gotten pregnant. Her shitty boyfriend Jamie is surprised that this hasn't happened yet, especially after their award-winning hormone yoga sessions. Babe simply tells Jamie to go back to the kitchen as a maid, so he does as she says. In a way, Jamie is happy that Babe is not pregnant because the baby would disrupt their freaky sessions and he will have to focus on winning solo awards. However, the moment of truth quickly arrives and Babe learns that she's indeed pregnant. Jamie goes to the store to pick up a bottle of Prosecco to celebrate. However, there are a bunch of bullies hanging around the streets and they harass Jamie for no good reason. He does his best to ignore them and heads back home after picking up the bottle. However, the bullies keep annoying him and he loses his cool. Unfortunately, Jamie stupidly reveals that Babe is pregnant and even insults the bullies. As expected, he gets beaten up and the bullies break into his house to check how a pregnant lady looks. Babe calls the cops for help, but even she's dragged out of the bathroom and kicked around while Jamie watches on like a chicken shit. The lead bully confronts Babe after she pulls out a knife and taunts her for a bit. Luckily, some cop cars arrive, so the bullies make an escape for their bully lives. The scene switches to a creepy door, which zooms out to reveal a dead woman in the back garden. The medics tend to her while an old caretaker senses someone seems watching them from behind the door. Now, we witness a lot of greenery as Babe and Jamie drive towards a new estate in rural Ireland. It turns out that the dead woman was actually Jamie's great aunt, and she has left him her home. Jamie is visibly happy to get a new house despite losing his great aunt, and then he and Babe meet Caretaker, who helps them get settled. Jamie has vertigo, so Caretaker shares some numbers of repairmen who will help with the house setup. Before leaving, Caretaker decides to show the couple something peculiar, and it turns out to be the creepy door in the back garden. She explains that the ant would leave some diabetic blood offering regularly for the beasts behind the door. Jamie thinks she's talking about leprechauns, but Caretaker says the beasts are called red caps, possibly adopted from hell dimension and raised by humans. Caretaker also explains that the ant lost her husband and daughter to pneumonia and blamed herself for this because she forgot to offer meat to the red caps one day. Babe is happy to make the same daily offering, so Caretaker takes her word and leaves after inviting the couple to a pub. Babe and Jamie decide to begin their new life together and set up their house. Jamie is also shown to have been training his chicken muscles so that he can become a better boyfriend. One day, Babe shoes away a pigeon and rests with Jamie while looking at an old photograph. The pigeon returns and we can see that the roof is broken, so the couple has to get to work. They do some shopping and Babe sorts out a local repairman. She picks up some Marmite for her cravings and then the couple goes to pay the bill. The store owner doesn't charge them anything because he was good friends with the aunt who helped him fix his gut and possibly his hormones. Now Babe and Jamie go to the pub Caretaker had mentioned earlier, but run into a bad boy dog on their way. Jamie gets scared and is ready to abandon Babe, proving that he is still a chicken shit. We see the owner of the bad boy dog, Fatty, and then the couple enters the pub. Everyone stares at them ominously, but then they change the tone and greet the couple with happy smiles. After some chatting, a messy homeless man named Mr. Homeless warns Babe and Jamie about the repairman they hired because his family is filled with creepy bullies. Caretaker throws Mr. Homeless out of the pub and proceeds to ask Babe if she laid out the offering. Babe confesses that she forgot to do this, so Caretaker takes her to the side and volunteers to do it herself. However, Babe refuses her because she doesn't want to feel scared in her own home, especially after the bully incident. Caretaker convinces Babe to provide a daily offering to the Red Caps because she has seen one herself, and they're not jolly little elves, but rather hungry monsters. Babe thinks Caretaker is watching too many horror videos from Daniel CC Movie Channel, but she gives her word regardless. Now we see Mr. Homeless chasing after his messy dog and blabbering some nonsense. We also see a mysterious figure, presumably a Red Cap, lurking in the background. Mr. Homeless finds a child alone in the woods, but it turns out to be a red cap that rips him to shreds, giving him a free home in hell. The next day, Babe and Jamie wake up to strange noises, so they rush downstairs with a weapon. However, it just turns out to be the exact local repairman who likes to call himself Daddy. 
Babe offers some tea to Daddy and his children team, which consists of Lady Bro, Big G, and Fatty. Babe is constantly reminded to call Daddy by his name, but Jamie takes offense to it. He goes shopping with Babe, and they pick up some liver for the offerings, but we notice Lady Bro and Big G being shady as they eat the couple's snacks, steal their money, and lick their hormone toys while engaging in a turd war. Now Babe and Jamie meet a priest who presents the ant's grave to them. Babe reveals she had to lose a previous child because of a useless boyfriend, so the priest hopes she finds peace. The couple learns that the ant's daughter's body was never found, which is strange because caretaker had said the ant's daughter was lost to pneumonia. On their way home, Babe and Jamie find caretaker, who is organizing a search party for Mr. Homeless. Babe asks caretaker why she lied about the ant's daughter and learns that the aunt had sacrificed her to the Redcaps in a deal to save her husband. Babe doesn't believe her bullshit, but caretaker stands by her words. After that, the couple heads back home, but are surprised to see Lady Bro and Big G smoking greens at their doorstep. Jamie confronts them while Babe goes to the bathroom. He tries to scold Big G and Lady Bro, but they keep mocking him because they think he's a useless man who got lucky with the house. Babe goes to the bathroom and has to flush the toilet because of the earlier turd war. She doesn't realize that Fatty is being a peeping Tom, and she remembers the trauma from the bully incident. Babe quickly spots Fatty and panics, so she and Jamie complain to Daddy about it. He says he'll sort out his kids, but continues to maintain that Babe should call him Daddy. Jamie starts to grow frustrated, so Babe tells him to take it out on the punching bag. She goes to offer the liver to the Red Caps, but gets distracted by the door opening. Babe notices that the liver has been eaten already, so she rushes back home. The next day, Fatty causes an accident that almost harms Babe, so Jamie loses his cool and shouts at Daddy's kids. Babe tries to handle the situation and consoles Fatty, but Daddy arrives and starts kicking him. Babe finally calls him Daddy and urges him to stop, which he does, but Jamie feels insecure. Anyway, Babe goes out to the back garden and gets lured into the forest behind the door. She looks around the area, hoping to find Mr. Homeless who still hasn't been found. Things get creepy as Babe seemingly loses her way, but then she finds Mr. Homeless's messy dog, who leads her somewhere. Meanwhile, Daddy beats up Fatty to assert dominance. The dog takes Babe to a creepy hut that leads to an underground stairway. Babe is unable to move further, so the dog runs away. Babe loses track of the dog, but finds Fatty in the middle of the forest. He is crying because of what Daddy did to him, and he shows Babe his bruises. She tries to console him using her words, but Fatty prefers to be consoled by her using her muscles. So he turns into a creep and assaults Babe after that. What follows is left somewhat ambiguous, and then Babe rushes back home to find Jamie, who is still boxing his punching bag. She leads him inside the forest and reveals that Fatty tried to end her sexy life. However, the Red Caps arrived and saved Babe by attacking Fatty. Jamie doesn't believe what Babe is saying because this is highly unlikely. Babe maintains that she saw the red caps, but Jamie loses his mind and screams at her in a chicken voice. Babe is shocked to see this behavior, but Jamie explains that he has changed since the bully incident. This is because he needs to protect his family as a man. Jamie goes to the pub for a drink, but is confronted by Big G and Lady Bro, who are looking for Fatty and suspect him of being shady. Jamie pleads ignorance, but the siblings harass him, so Caretaker and the others tell them to get lost with their smelly butts. At night, Babe gets herself a glass of water and thinks back to what happened between her and Fatty. Suddenly, a red cap enters the house and creeps out Babe. He gives her a bag and smells her baby, after which he walks away, feeling disgusting. Babe tries her best to take a picture of the red cap and looks into the bag to find Fatty's head. Jamie comes home later, so Babe shows him the head and the red cap pictures she took. This is too much for Jamie to take in, but then Daddy arrives with Big G and Lady Bro. They demand to know what happened to Fatty, so Babe goes upstairs to hide, and Jamie tries to shoo them away. Daddy doesn't listen and smashes the windows. After which, Big G tries to enter through the broken roof. Babe tries to escape her pregnant life from the house, but gets caught by Lady Bro. She drops the bag, and Lady Bro finds Fatty's head inside, dead as shit. Big G cuts the internet line, so Jamie isn't able to contact the cops for help. Daddy sees Fatty's head, so he breaks into the house and orders Lady Bro to wreak havoc. Meanwhile, Babe rushes to the forest and begs the Red Caps to help her. 
Daddy starts burning the place down, and Big G attacks Jamie from behind after entering through the roof. All those punching bag sessions prove to be useless as Jamie is shown to be worse than a chicken shit. He isn't able to harm Big G's bulletproof muscles with a knife and gets beaten down with ease. Meanwhile, Babe doesn't get any response from the Red Caps, so she offers them whatever they want. Daddy finds Jamie and demands to know what happened to Fatty, so he's told about the Red Caps. Daddy doesn't believe this and threatens Jamie to reveal Babe's location. Babe shows up to the scene, but her water breaks and she gets attacked by Lady Bro. Things look bad for the couple as Daddy tells Big G to send Jamie to the Chicken Gods. However, a red cap drops down from the roof and attacks Big G without human mercy, causing him to panic like a small G, so Daddy helps him out, but they get attacked by more red caps. Daddy ends one of them, and then we shift to Lady Bro, who is applying the finishing touches to Babe's assassination. Suddenly, an army of red caps show up and attack Lady Bro, ending her domination. Big G panics as he tries to escape the house, but gets attacked by a red cap. He manages to get rid of it, but is beaten up by more red caps. Then we see Lady Bro, whose belly is ripped open in front of Babe, just like a C-section. Daddy loads up his shotgun, but finds Big G trying to escape in their van. A red cap shows up from behind and slashes Big G's neck, ending his big life. Now Jamie goes to look for Babe and finds the red caps feasting on Lady Bro. He accidentally attacks them like a silly billy, and then Babe tells him to focus on her as she is going through labor. That's when Daddy arrives with his shotgun and shoots a red cap, prompting the others to escape. Daddy threatens to end the couple, but Jamie decides it's time to be a man. He challenges Daddy to a fist fight, but is hilariously shot down because he will always remain a chicken. Daddy wants revenge for what happened to his kids, so he is about to shoot Babe's belly. But then the messy dog shows up to save the day. This distraction allows Babe to get the shotgun, and she uses it to shoot down Daddy. Now Jamie tends to Babe while the Red Caps take the bodies away for a feast. After a long, arduous night, Babe finally gives birth to a baby girl with baby fat. Jamie picks up some painkillers and then he decides to fix up the house. Babe is happy to have her child and we see Jamie listening to a self-help podcast while he cleans Daddy's van. Unfortunately, the Red Caps steal Babe's baby, so she chases after them while calling out to Jamie. However, he is too busy listening to the self-help podcast, so he is unresponsive. Babe comes across the same hut that the dog had led her to earlier. She climbs down the stairway and finally finds her fat baby, but she is soon confronted by the red caps. That's when she sees an old woman who is revealed to be the ant's missing daughter. It turns out that after the ant sacrificed her daughter to the red caps, they made the daughter their mother and worshipped her like their queen. Babe begs for her baby, but is threatened by the Red Caps because they want to repeat the same cycle that happened with the ant. However, Babe is not like her shitty boyfriend, so she attacks a Red Cap elder and brutally sends the ant's daughter to meet the Red Cap Lord. Babe gets her baby back, and the Red Caps start worshipping her as their new queen. Later, Jamie finds the baby at his doorstep, but notices something far more dreadful. Babe is being inducted as Mother Redcap, and she participates in a ritual using the skull and blood of the ant's daughter. Jamie is a beta male, so he welcomes Babe's new position, and the movie ends with Babe looking like a psycho, meaning that she will now command the Redcaps to do her evil bidding. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.